Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about camera bags. So if you're looking for a camera bag, chances are you wanna travel around with your gear somehow. Either we're travel vloggers or we like to do landscape photography. Or maybe you have some type of blog where you do fashion, but you gotta bring your gear along with you. Sometimes you wanna have multiple lenses. Sometimes you wanna have multiple cameras. Whether you're a wedding photographer, videographer, or a fashion photographer, you're gonna need a way to carry along your gear. First off, we're gonna start with the camera book bag. Uh, and this is by Manfrotto. I'll try to have a link to something similar to this. I don't know where I got this thing from. I've had this one for a long time, but it's good for just throwing your gear in and getting it to where you need to go. One thing to look for in a camera bag is to make sure you have uh, something that's comfortable. Cause you've been carrying some heavy gear around, you wanna make sure that it's comfortable enough for you to wear it on your back. Inside, you also wanna make sure that it has some type of compartment, something that you can kind of divide your gear with. Camera gear, lenses, or long lenses over here, your uh, camera right here, you can throw other little knickknacks in here. Also, this one has a space for your laptop to go right here. So that's pretty cool as well. But I will say this is not the absolute best option. It does work for times where you need to be mobile. Maybe you're walking uphill or, or traveling, maybe you're in the woods. This works for that, but it doesn't do a good job of keeping my camera gear separated. And also wearing something on your back can be tiring. But the good thing about a camera bag like this is you can get them for a relatively cheap price. So if you need something to meet your needs right now, grab a book bag like this and you won't have to spend a lot of money. This is the next bag. This is something that my wife bought. She thought it would be a great option for her. And it is a really nice bag. It's kind of a throw over your shoulder bag. So you do have to carry this around. Kind of like a book bag, but looks a little bit more professional than a book bag. I would suggest this if you want to look a little bit more professional. These can be very expensive, but it is leather and it will last you. So that's a plus. On the inside, it is compartmentalized. I think I said that right. Compartmentalized. It has compartments. And you can put your lenses and all that stuff in here. And also a lot of this can be adjusted to do whatever you need in here. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Different compartments so you can put your different gear in different locations. So this is a relatively good camera bag. I just would say it is difficult to carry around. Something like this over your shoulder, um, is it does get pretty heavy. And it's a pretty big bag, so that means you might put a lot of gear in it and it just gets super, super heavy and you can't carry it around. Good. Looks professional. I wouldn't want to carry this around if you have a whole bunch of gear. And lastly, we have the Think Tank, and this is uh, one with rollers on it. Probably the best option for those who don't have to be like in the woods or uh, climbing up a mountain or something like that. If you travel, this will be great for that. If you go on a plane, this is actually the carry-on side, so you can carry the gear on with you. If you're a wedding photographer, you walk around a lot, you will be dragging this thing along with you. Good thing is it has wheels so you don't have to put it on your back, you can just roll it off um, and keep all your gear with you. A lot of times with the book bag or the other bag, I tend to leave them sitting somewhere because I don't want them on my back. It starts to hurt after a while, so I put them down somewhere. In the front, it has an area for your laptop to go in. And inside, you'll see a whole bunch of compartments. And this thing is really good because the compartments are very sturdy. Uh, whereas my book bag, it was a little bit flimsy, so the compartments don't kind of hold themselves together. But I will say out of all the options, this is the most expensive, uh, but it is the best and probably will last you the longest and is good for traveling. The other two, the book bag and the over the shoulder bag are pretty good as well. Just think about what your needs are and what you'll be using your camera bag for, how you'll be traveling with your gear and pick the best options for you. I would suggest something like this and also a book bag so you can just carry it around uh, if you have some situations where you can't roll your gear around. So. That's all I have for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>